And tomorrow, nearly 20,000 people will hit the ground running in this year's Cleveland Marathon. One of them will be our very own Janessa Webb. As she's getting ready, they're already stretching out, I think. Marathons require months of training, so good morning, Cleveland's Terrence Lee. Tried to keep up with Janessa to see exactly what it takes. This isn't just a race. It's more than 26.2 miles of sweat and tears. I started crying. I was like, I don't want to do this no more. It's bigger than the crowd of 20,000. For our Janessa Webb, the Cleveland Marathon is about fighting through the struggle. It's a big journey and you're going to get mad, you're going to cry, but you got to get up and keep going. And she's been going since February, up early, training six days a week. I know when I first started, it was like eight miles, then 12 miles, and then just a couple weeks ago, I did 20. This will be her second marathon, her first in Alaska, her home state. That was about 11 years ago, so <laughs> my body's different. I'm a different human. I was about 20 pounds lighter, so we'll just, we'll, we'll see. And I wanted to see how she's been preparing. We were supposed to run six miles together, but 15 minutes in, I could not hang. And a marathon is three plus hours. So how does Janessa plan to push through? Motivation from her family and encouragement from our own Danita Harris. She'll call me on my long runs and talk to me for about an hour and that just like makes things just a lot easier. But the number one thing any marathoner needs, more important than support, shoes, or stamina, is self-belief. I think if I have to stop and walk, that's okay, but I'm just not, I'm gonna finish. <laughs> if I'm crawling, I will finish. <laughs> Terrence Lee, News Channel 5.